How to know if cat imprinted on you? Cats are known for their independent and sometimes aloof nature, but when they truly bond with their human, it's a special connection. If you've ever wondered if your cat has imprinted on you, then look at these 18 adorable signs. Number one, you keep tripping on your cat. Is your cat always underfoot? Do they keep following you, trying to rub against you, or curl their tail around you? A cat that has imprinted on you will basically become your shadow. They will want to be by your side constantly, follow you around the house, sit on your lap, or even try to join you in the shower. It's a sign that they trust and love you, as cats typically reserve this type of behavior for the people they're closest with. Number two, they use you as a chew toy. Soft biting or nibbling is one of the lesser known ways that cats express how they've imprinted on you. It's similar to the way kittens suckle on their mother. What makes it special is how gentle and careful they are during the process. These love bites may feel weird, but try to enjoy them. Number three, you're the only one who gets groomed. When it comes to signs of imprinting, grooming is one of the biggest, especially if you're the only one who gets the honor. Cats only groom their closest companions. They primarily use their tongue since the rough surface of their tongue basically acts like a calm that helps remove dirt and debris from the fur. They may lick your ears, hair, hands, feet, anything they can get those little tongues on. By grooming you, cats essentially say that they consider you part of their family and their favorite one at that. Number four, you're their sleep buddy. While cats love to nap anytime and anywhere during the day, sleeping at night is different. Letting their guard down in the dark puts them in a vulnerable position, so cats will only sleep next to someone they feel safe with. If your cat has imprinted on you, they may take their spot next to you every night and snuggle up close. This means they trust you to protect them and not do anything terrible to them while they're asleep. It's a sign of love, trust, and security. All signs that your cat has imprinted on you. Number five, they show you their belly all the time. Unlike dogs, for whom showing the belly is an invitation for a rub, cats don't just expose their bellies to anyone. In the cat world, laying belly side up is an extremely vulnerable and unsafe position. It makes them open to attack from predators and makes it harder to defend themselves. However, if your cat constantly shows you their belly, they're telling you that they trust you completely. Still, don't take it as an invitation to rub that furry tummy, or the claws may come out. Give them space and simply appreciate the gesture. Number six, they keep making biscuits on you. Kneading is another unique cat behavior that can also mean your kitty has imprinted on you. Kittens instinctively knead their mother's stomachs to stimulate milk production. That phase in their life is cozy and safe, and kneading instantly transports them back to that place. Therefore, a cat kneading you with its paws means you make your cat feel like a safe and warm kitten again. Some cats get carried away so much that their claws start to come out while making biscuits on your thigh, tummy, or chest. This can hurt, so we recommend placing a blanket underneath their paws beforehand. Number seven, you get the slow blinks. Does your cat ever catch your eye and then give you a long, slow blink? Slow blinks are a cat's way of blowing a kiss or giving a loving smile. When cats are alert or anxious, they'll keep their eyes wide open, blinking as little as possible. That way, they're primed to see any possible danger. Just like exposing a belly or falling asleep, slow blinks are a calculated way to say, See, I trust you to keep me safe. Number eight, your cat has memorized your routine. Imprinting can also mean paying extra attention to you and everything you do. Does your cat seem to know when you're about to leave for work, come back home, or get ready for bed? Do they tend to remind you of the same thing every day, like it's their job? If so, you've been deemed worthy of their constant and sustained attention. Cats don't like to waste energy on things that don't provide an immediate reward, so your cat's keen observation means he values you a lot. Number nine, they want to make you smell like them. Cats have scent glands located around their face and body that they use to mark their territory. A cat that has imprinted you will never stop trying to claim you as theirs. If your cat is always rubbing against you, they're telling the world, this human is mine. It's an act of ownership, appreciation, and adoration. A sign that you've won your cat's heart. Number 11, they sit in your lap. When a cat has imprinted on you, they like to be wherever you are, and that includes sitting on your lap. 
Your lap is a safe place where your cat can relax while enjoying the warmth and comfort of their favorite person. Your cat may sit in your lap as a way of simply being close to you, showing affection, and being social. When your cat has imprinted on you, you'll often find there is a lack of personal space. Your cat will want to be with you as close to you as they can be wherever you are. Number 12. Your cat regularly headbutts you. Headbutting, also known as bunting, is an affectionate behavior that cats display to their owners and other animals. The behavior is rooted in the cat's natural tendency to mark their territories with the facial glands located on the sides of their hands. When a cat headbutts you, they are essentially saying that you are a part of its inner circle and that they trust you. This is a sign of affection and your cat is trying to establish a bond with you. Additionally, headbutting can signify contentment, as cats tend to express their happiness by rubbing against objects. Headbutting is a sign of your cat feeling comfortable and safe, and a sure sign they've imprinted on you. Number 13. They check in with you often. If your cat has imprinted on you, it will regularly check in with you. This could mean they come into your room at night to snuggle with you, to wake you up for attention, or they simply come in to check everything is okay and then leave again. Number 14. You receive the most gifts from your cat. Cats are known for bringing home gifts, usually a mouse, bird, or other small animal corpses. It's part of their hunter instinct and a way of sharing their bounty with you. If your cat decides to make you the top recipient of their gifts, they're letting you know that you hold a special place in their heart. Number 15. Head bumps. Your cat bumps their head against you, which is a sign of affection and a way of marking you with their scent. This behavior, known as bunting, is a form of communication that signals a strong bond between you and your cat. Number 16. Vocal Communication Your cat meows and communicates with you more than with other people, using different sounds to express their needs and emotions. Cats that have imprinted on their owners often develop a special vocal repertoire for communication. Number 17. Playfulness. Your cat initiates playtime with you, chasing and pouncing on toys or engaging in interactive games, a sign of trust and companionship. Playing together strengthens the bond between you and your cat and provides them with mental and physical stimulation. Number 18. Relaxation in your presence. Your cat feels comfortable and relaxed when you're around, often lying on their back or stretching out in your presence. Cats are vulnerable when they expose their bellies, so if your cat does this in your presence, it's a sign of trust. When do cats typically imprint? Cats typically imprint when they are young and in the first few hours or days of life. A cat will imprint on a human when they don't have a mother, or when they need food, comfort, or safety. Although, cats will continue to build strong bonds with humans when they are older too. Some cat breeds are more likely to imprint on a person than others. For example, Turkish Angora, Siamese, Manx, and Siberian cats are all very affectionate and are more likely to imprint on people. Let's discuss how to create a stronger bond with your cat. If your cat hasn't imprinted on you yet based on the signs we discussed, don't take it personally. Each cat is different. Some develop bonds quickly, while others take a lot of time to open up, no matter where your cat falls on the spectrum. These tips can help you strengthen your bond and create a lasting friendship. Number 1. Take over feeding time. Cats bond faster with people who provide their basic needs. And since most cats love food, it's simple math. If you're the source of their favorite thing, you must be pretty awesome yourself. Number 2. Respect your cat's space. The fastest way to turn off a cat is to treat them like a puppy, like bombarding them with cuddles, pets, noise, and attention without regarding their boundaries. Cats are much less tolerant of unwanted attention. Keep doing it enough, and you may find them leaving the room or hiding every time you come in. Instead, let your cat dictate the terms of your relationship. For example, wait for them to come to you before you start petting, and never force them into a cuddle position or on their back to rub their belly.